Okay, in the blue color, we have got Tiger Boss. Playing as Oranos here, and on the other side, we got the Rabble. Playing as Odin here. Should be a pretty good pick for, for Savannah, as this is like a low to medium hunt map normally. It depends on the spawns, though. Um, and anyway, the Zebra already benefits a ton from the early god power usage here. Oh my goodness, that's a high hunt, Savannah. Ish. Oh, that's all berries? Never mind. And normally, you would get a Rhino or something, but it looks like this is it. I mean, if Odin can get out there, you know, that, that could be pretty good, but it's not going to be easy. This is easy to get, though. The baboons. But overall, it's a pretty good matchup. Uh, we should be expecting either Ulfsark or just, you know, Raiding Cav and Ulfsark from our Odin player. Maybe a bunch of Valkyries to spice things up. Not very much hunt on the Orano side of things, but I think he's about to find the jackpot. But these giraffes, oh my goodness, each 300 food. Yep, that is pretty good stuff. coming up on both sides it should be just Freya against Prometheus right nothing, nothing special we got relics a boot of kick everything for that hero speed and blue crystal shard for a little bit of extra gather rates only got hunting dogs obviously Old mines are not exposed. This one is a little bit, but uh, you're not gonna be gold starving around us on the first gold mine anyway. They'll be flooding you. And we got our ravens scouting out. Probably not gonna see any oracle aggression to be honest. Uh, but they're also spotting the mess of giraffes and it looks like they might be thinking to link up. Relics are not critical to pick up. As discussed, DC positions are fairly fair. Almost mirrored, actually. A little bit worse for our Odin player. Um, second gold mine should be easy. Eight goats versus eight goats. I guess all of the Great Hunt was just used on the Zebra there. Well, well, well. Bullying that citizen is actually going pretty far. Huh. Quite good damage. First Promethean will chase away that, that Skraling. Ooh! That is a great forest fire. A little bit trapping that citizen there. Woo, almost died. 40 hit points left. And once again, we don't seem to have audio. And now we do. Power of technology, everyone. Okay, we got a bunch of curse here. But they're only 4.2 speed. My god, that is so slow. That is seriously so slow. And 
I would love for them to pick up the boots of kick everything. Like, I mean, that is extra 0 0.4 speed. That they would be 4.8. Like, that is a meaningful difference. For sure. Valkyrie looking for the kill. Oh, I might even get it. But no. Tiger boss with a really good reaction there. Oh, trade the hit points for the kill. That is a great decision. Might actually get it. But Shockwave has other plans. Maybe might be able to still get it. Going into the manor, it's too fast. Okay. Well, that was that was spicy. <laughs> Hang around the Rosie. Oh my god. Teleport too good. My goodness, this is lagging as hell. Oh, really good start by, by Rappo, for sure. Man, he's gotta pick that relic, seriously. Is he looking to grab the TC? It's a pretty nice TC. Longhouses. I guess our North Bay is just looking to max out here. Probably take a fight at that second gold mine. And nobody's really moving out. Medium cavalry is coming in. And really good reaction with the catapalties. I don't like the Terma here. They're not gonna add much. Eco upgrades. We've just got hunting dogs still. And nothing else. That is a little bit unusual. I think grabbing like a, a pickaxe for Rapple could be pretty good there on all those dwarves. Already got seven. Yeah, the first mine is about to be gone. And I think our Atlantean player is starting to smell this as we gotta move out. Population remains pretty equal for both. I mean, you got medium infantry coming in. Obviously, a huge boon for both Catapalties and Mermillo there. Thundering Hooves. Oh, that is worth waiting for. Uh, Rappel should absolutely pull back and wait for that upgrade before engaging. By the way, the medium raiders are excellent against Cairo Ballista. They will do double damage. I didn't pull back far enough. Thundering Hoofs are almost at 80% though. So it will kick in during this fight still. And there's a significant amount of throwing axemen. Raiding cavalry are very much fighting the infantry right now. Though that is unfortunate. But there is enough targeting going on to the backline too. Not a whole lot of villagers have been killed. Maybe even none. I don't see any villagers dead. So yeah, very good cleanup by Rappo. Oh my goodness, he's got the uh, flanking force. And even that is going to do some extra damage here. Great work. Such a huge Norse army now. What is Tiger Boss really gonna do? He can remax. You can get Mermillo and kind of penalties, but what about those throwing axe? They're gonna be a problem. <laughs> so many corpses. Rain Cav looking for that flank, but it's pure infantry now. Man, those throwing axemen are not firing. What's going on? This right there getting fired, but yeah, once again, a great surround by Rappel. And Tiger Boss's army is kind of dwindling, but not too much. The Mermillo are kind of holding their own against the Throwing Axe, especially with the support of Shockwave. 
Probably not for much longer, though. Actually, that's a more even fight than I expected by a lot. I'm not sure what's happening. Still, it seems to me the Atlantean player is gonna get cleaned up. Uh, the extra Valkyrie was just a little bit too much. But no, our Norse is retreating. Alright. There was not a huge wave of reinforcements. What, what's going on? Why is there no resources? It's like everything is idle. You got 11 villagers popping in at DC. Did they get husbandry or what? No. That's hand axe for some reason. I mean, there's enough villagers to pay off. <clears throat> we had a transition to gold. I guess that was it. Yeah, Rappel needed to chill uh, during the transition to the second gold mine, but we've got a lot of Valkyries on the field now. Through these uh, throwing axe have been shift click. You can shift click on Bubly. They'll just go to the location of the dead unit and get surrounded by infantry. Numbers are dropping fast. They need to stay at range, otherwise, this happens. They just have absolutely no health. Well, Rappel, you know, cleans up reasonably. Uh, second gold mine is being used by Tiger Boss as well now. Still has a little bit left at home. So I, I really like that split that he, that he ventured out early. Citizens are being sneaky and grabbing some baboons on the side. Good stuff. Hi, ah. Valkyries. We gotta see their upgrade. Aurora Borealis, when? So good. Look at this. 33% heal, heal rate, 50% hack damage, and 20% crush damage added. Such a good upgrade. Hunting that lion. That might be the last hunt to use for Odin, so a farm transition is in order. Yeah, husbandry getting researched. Every little bit will count from here on out. Uh, throwing action might be picked up by all those Terma, but I guess the Terma do decide to chase after all. Good. There are quite a few raiding calf here, so I'm not sure that was the best. Only 5% hack armor on these guys. And I really like that counter raid. That's gonna leave our attention player without gold. My heroes doing what they can to pick off the Valkyrie. But it's not gonna be enough, not with those raiding cab also helping out. Essentially nothing to raid here, but there's gonna be the good guys. Oh man, that tournament group is just running right past the raiding calf. Well, they're gonna be caught. Spundering hoofs gives them 6.6 .6 speed. And finally, we got Aurora Borealis coming in as well. Tiger Boss trying his absolute best to stay at 115 population, but not really able to get a TC and that slow citizen from the very early game is out here for some reason that was a mistake the other one is going to be dying as well shield maiden Valkyries are in oh and they're tearing these villagers to pieces definitely worth sacrificing one Valkyrie for this Although the armory might go down for a Norse player. Very annoying to have to rebuild that. But not gonna be the case. The term might just end up in the middle of the army. Oh god, this is terrible. Oh god. Uh, Raiding carry just tear them to pieces. 
Never had a chance. Here come the Valkyries. Would be good if they can heal the Norse army before the next engagement. As Atlantean still floods. But yeah, Tiger Boss is super hard stuck in the classical age now. Especially if he's remaxing. Scotty is coming in. Plow is coming in. We got some pretty good healing going on too. A few more units will be needed for Raffle as Tiger Boss has maxed out. This is a little bit scary to be honest, but you still cannot run into that gold mine. There's too many villagers there. They'll protect themselves together with the army. And also Raffle has reached 115 population just now. Uh, not gonna get any armory upgrades funnily enough. I would really like to see uh, just mail from him, I think. Yeah. Yeah, copper mail. Seems like the way to go. So like the flank a lot. Get some Mamilo on the wrong side of history. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the Therma are now totally exposed. Scotty is in. So all that Rappel will need to do is freeze the army and kill it. He has all this... Oh, you could also just go and raid. That's the entire army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send the Valkyries. Good idea. Pick off as many citizens as possible. We have the reigning cav are heavily weakened in this army. We got medium throwing axemen now. Heavy cavalry is coming in, and we're gonna have a frost giant. That's it. Rappel takes it. Tiger boss is out of this one, but this is the best of three. Still has a chance, of course. So stay tuned. In the blue color, we've got Rappel playing as Poseidon. And on the other side, Kronos, Tiger Boss, Red. So Mediterranean should be a little bit Greek favored, right? But Kronos can certainly get it done. It's all about the flood. But once you get to full population on the ships, uh, Greek should be favored. Also, it, it's tough life about the uh, TC grabs. Let's see the gold mines. I mean, this is a very exposed gold mine, so you could technically um, rush on land as well. And I'm curious whether Poseidon wants to go ceasefire or or pestilence here. Um, pestilence is generally going to be pretty helpful in terms of slowing down the Atlanteans a little bit, but maybe not much. Good force to drop off on the deconstructing building. Would be pretty cool to see an oracle hero here, to be honest. Oh, the villager isn't building! Not discovered. Yeah, that would be super cool to see the oracle uh, converted to, to kill the villager, but it's too late. I think the dock will finish anyway now. Three fishing ships versus two. About to be four to two. Nice little advantage. Yeah, generally speaking, Kronos wants to do this. Like, you just get rid of, of that first dock. Get two extra fishing ships. It's a pretty nice advantage for free. And you still got a second Deacon Shark later. And there's a temple. I think it would be a waste to not forward shift it, but I don't know. I mean, this gold mine is so super exposed. It's definitely worth to bully that. 
So they're gonna, I'm sure, sure we're gonna have a naval fight first. And you know what? Actually, the Greek advance time might be a little bit faster here. Somehow. Very surprisingly. Ares is coming in. Yeah, we're gonna get that pestilence. I'm not sure if we're gonna get a second dock. I mean, we got it, right? But there's no wood for it. Rebel has run out. Gonna get a really, really good advance time, though. Um, so it'll be very easy to pestilence both of the dock, or three of them, actually. Especially with that hippocampus, you don't need any other scout. You might even be able to deny the first ships. But yeah, you do wanna wait for that advance from the from the Kronos player. Come right where it hurts. Get those ships going. Um okay, that third dock from our Greek player. I like it. But it does imply something more defensive. Um, definitely not going to be able to double pump the ships. Not for a while, at least. And yeah, we should be very shortly seeing the the pestilence on this. Also going to hit the temple, by the way. Any moment now. Oh, he waited for one ship to pop out. Okay. Uh, well, the triremes has got. I've got to go. No production from our Greek player? What? What are we doing? I'm sorry, what? You got hand axe, obviously. There's a... There's a ton of... Of villagers on wood. Okay, now we got double pumping. I still think the Greek ships will be outnumbered there. I really expected way more Greek ships. Um, okay, now we're looking better, but this will be almost instantly met by, by a Kronos player. Instead, we have three ships. It's just that four Greek ships is better than uh, five Pyrenees. But not better than freaking seven. <laughs> you gotta run. Uh, if you're if you're rapper now, um, it's keeping up nicely with the count. The Cyclops was trying to do some counter damage, but isn't gonna manage to. It looks like that Promethean offspring is also gonna escape Hippolyta. But maybe you position these two closely to the to the villagers here. You could be doing some damage. Oh god, we are housed. We are so housed that we're panic making free houses. I didn't mean to do that, I meant to do this. Deconstruct is ready to go. Obviously not gonna use it on the docks. As there's enough. It'll be good for something later. Probably fortress. That's a lot by reams. 17 to 8, 9 try reams. That's an easy win for the Atlantean. I'm not sure why we're running away from this. That's a lot of freaking by reams. Just take the fight. Almost doubling the count there. Basically, if you have uh, like a 20% lead, you just go for it. Because you're faster, you can, you can pull back micro. So many Oracle heroes. Are they? Yeah, they have focus. Grapple over microing a little bit. And losing a lot of health in this.
Yeah, Tiger Boss is doing great here. You know, not over maneuvering the ships, just making sure that they fire. That's all you need, really. If you have such a numerical lead, you don't even really need to pull back back row too much. I really like this flank. Cuts off the escape for, for the raffle. And yeah, the water will be lost for our Greek player. Best to just remake the ships inside the dock. And hope for the for a good comeback. Of course, the move now for Tiger is to... Oh, is to win. Nice. I was going to say make a TC, but... Rappler isn't having it. Oh, that was a quick one. A solid play on the water by Tiger Boss. Show Drapo who's boss. Tiger Boss is gonna be playing in the blue color as a Rhinos. On the other side, we've got the Rapple playing as four in the red. Pick Sicker coming in right away. All you gotta do is kill two deer. Okay, you already dwarven mine. Not sure I like it because this is very exposed. Um, then again, it was buffed on Vibli a little bit. I think it gives you 750 now. It's up to 500. Uh, we got the Staff of Dionysus. We got Shingos of Steel. We got the Osberg Wagon. Titan's treasure. Shingles of Steel could be pretty nice here because, uh, like I said, this gold mine is exposed. For a Norse player to have to wall this off, you might as well make the houses part of the wall, right? So, why not run with that? Obviously, lots of hunt on this map. Pig sticker is going to be a great upgrade to have. Uh, saving you a lot of time with hunting. As you just kill the animals in basically one shot with a big group of villagers. And your gather rate is the same as that of an Odin. And you get super dwarves. For an Atlantean player, everything looks pretty normal. That's a hunting dogs build, of course. You show 430 advance. Is what we can expect here. Yeah, I, I'm I'm really nervous about this gold mine, man. Uh, maybe maybe the Norse player can secure this back one, uh, the little wall, but it's not gonna be easy. Like a full-on around this flood is terrifying here. Titan's treasure never gonna come into play, of course. Uh, let's reveal the map for the water bodies. So we got uh, almost no significant water, actually. I mean, there is significant water in terms of TC denial here. Like, if somehow a dock comes up... Oh, that's not water. Right. This is water. Never mind, that's defensive. Okay, so water irrelevant, except for, like, a little trade harassment. Which is probably not gonna happen. It's not a ton of hunt though, actually. For a marsh, this is a little bare bones. Then again, four never say die either. Um, 
you could go for a, a Ragnarok Flaming Weapon Solid, and that is very difficult for Uranus to hold every time. Oh, this isn't gonna take a beating. A little late on the Prometheus there. Um, is it though? No, it's about right. Should be 430. Double Longhouse is going to be already up for our 4th player, that is great. Yeah, yeah, good 4.30, of course. So, I was mistaken there. Yeah, Raining Calf. And Throwing Axe. So, he's just cosplaying Odin. Should pick up the relics. Especially the house one. Oh. These are just not gonna matter. Staff of the Anissus is okay, but it can also backfire because if your villagers uh, don't drop off the resources when you need them, you're just gonna stall your production. That hurts a lot. Back by doing some pretty good damage. Honestly, I think I think that Rappel is just waiting for a good forest fire. Beacon that sits isn't enough, and the forest fire will hurt a lot. Then again, this is a pretty good forest to burn. Kinda get the feeling that the counter barracks might go down. It's pretty close to that forest. So many hearse here's getting made. I mean, you get a lot of extra favor. Uh, these guys generate double the favor than normal units, and they've got a, a very small uh, trickle as well as 0.6 favor per minute. So together, that's quite good. It's 3.6 for the six for just existing. at the moment. Uh oh. Yeah, switching to regular gatherers is a good idea. Almost killed the raiding cap. That is so tilting. The Valkyrie is just gonna heal that back up. What's the god power here? Uh, Valor. Guess the citizen, I think. No! I'm not sure it did. Maybe this one. How many heroes did it? Okay, it, it did get it. That's fine. Nice, healing up that weak raider. Free unit right there. No time to heal the rest. Have to fight. But that's a huge Norse army. Oh, I love the flank. Not gonna go for it though because the uh, reforming infantry is gonna block the path. We don't wanna crash into those. Posturing, they don't want to take it. Nobody doing nothing. Oh, we got Ulf Sarks. Would love to see medium infantry. Then this Norse army has so much infantry. It would be better than making more units at this point, almost. Especially with the housing situation. Is a house being made? Please make house. And even make it right here. Come on. House. Medium infantry. Yes. Don't fight before it hits. Okay, good. Last house. Come on. Tiger boss also ready to go with this medium infantry of his own. Quick check on the eco upgrades before we fight. Just hunting dogs versus just hunting dogs and pig sticker. Here goes the fight. Oh, the villagers might want to help here. Although the Norse is doing pretty good, but Shockwave is always a problem, that's why I said that. 
I mean, we're gonna have forest fire on that one tree? Bro. <laughs> no way. Okay, I've, I'm not sure it capped the damage there. That was strange. I don't think it did. But the Norse army is gonna hold its own. A little bit better quality, of course. Because the Terma are absolute trash. Against Norse. Like, you have to target throwing axe or they're worthless. And with the low range, you have to pretty much go into, into melee. So, no benefits. Where are the Cairo Ballista? There's also very few Prometheans. Has done a good job of thinning out the Hersier count, though. And they're pretty low. So, would love to see some snipes on them. I like this forward military barracks a lot as well. But with the citizens getting attacked there, oh, the Valkyrie might get the kill. Gotta be careful with her, though. Don't wanna lose it. Nice citizen pick off. That is a huge difference maker here. As forest economy is already insane, but picking off citizens is gonna make it even better. Yeah, good choice to retreat as well. Just three group. Get a better fight, get a better angle. Macri is so low, please run away. Five hit points on this thing. Aww. Well, the Norse army has gotten its ass kicked. For whatever reason. Um, I guess there's just been more reinforcements from Tiger Boss. And this is kind of Ulfsark heavy now. Tiger Boss might actually win this, guys. He's playing this so well. He's, he's flooding super hard. And that gold mine is exposed. So, I mean, it's almost out, actually. So, the other gold mine is the next target. And plowing through the buildings here. Uh, we got copper shields coming in. But I'm not sure what the answer is to all these Prometheans. Like, they'll just shred the Ulfsarks. Absolutely no raiding units for- Oh! Catching the, the hunters would be pretty sick there. But actually, Grapple is completely out of position. You can maybe find, find these citizens, but then what? You, you lose your entire hunting group. Your gold miners are gonna get wrecked. Well, I mean, they can be pulled back to TC, to be honest, but these wood villagers are not safe. Big good pickoffs there. Oh, the citizens are getting pulled through the army offensively? What? Ah, just make a sky passage. Holy. Guys, seriously, sky passages for Atlantean villagers are your extra manners. And you can jump between areas, so why not? These guys are so slow already. I know you'd rather get a TC. But still. Bad to keep them alive. Well... That advantage from just a moment ago is now thrown. Uh, Tiger Boss suddenly on equal population. He's lost two citizens for five villagers. That is not a good trade. Raffle is on 100 favor. If he can somehow make it to the next stage, that's gonna be completely insane. The Ulf Sucks are on top of the Terma, and they're doing 50% bonus damage there. Absolutely shredding them. Oh my goodness. Tiger Boss had such a good thing going on here. What happened? Where are the... Finally the Carrier Blitz are here. But yeah, the Ulfsark Flood is just maybe a little bit too good now. They're training in 9 seconds, whereas Mermiddle take 12. Okay, Carrier Blitz might actually change this around. Gonna get back to raiding calf. None are being made right now. And the shockwave will buy a moment. That's a lot of kills from the shockwave. Holy. All the throwing axe are dead. Mm, bar one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That shockwave was just as good as it can get. Tiger Boss suddenly leading on the population metrics again. 
And going after those dwarves is definitely a good play, but gotta be careful with the Ulfsarks. Uh, that is a suicidal dive again. Where are the idols? Why are the idols? Come on. Let's do this. Nice takedown on the last of the throwing axemen. There are a bunch more trying to get out, but yeah, the Carablista are gonna be able to take care of that. However, they are raiding Cav. Unfortunately for them though, they are just basic and there are already Kala penalties. Uh, the very few Ulfsarks are left at this point. And these Mermillos are gonna clean them up it looks like. I'm not sure how Rappel is going to survive, he doesn't have enough for Heroic. He doesn't have enough food for Valkyries. Gonna make the one, but then what? We still need to make Raiding Path. I think it should be easy enough for Tiger Boss to just manually make some heroes. Go starve us in. Now unless this this group of raffle units is gonna take care of this. I'm not sure there's a way out. Oh this is this is good. This is spicy. <laughs> what are they doing here? <laughs> I love it. It's so good, but you're gonna have to go home after that hippo is done. And that might just be a surround. You know, you pull these dwarves into the fight, beat up the Terma. Tiger Boss might be in trouble again. He overstayed his welcome. The reinforcements haven't been in. And he's got two Valkyries, three Valkyries to deal with. It looks like the Atlantean infantry is kind of holding its own, but we'll need a hero or two. I mean, it's serious. It shouldn't be such a big problem, right? Just stop production for a second and make the damn heroes. Grapple really trying to hold on here. And the Valkyries are doing the heavy lifting. Man, Atlantean players seriously have to occasionally buy a hero. Can't just live off of Valor. <laughs> no way they're gonna find each other. Oh, this could be a disaster for Rappel. All that Tiger Boss needs to do is send there like two Mermillos. Okay, the Valkyries are still going. In fact, we're gonna have four Valkyries. So this is gonna be becoming a problem. The fifth one will also be followed up by Aurora Borealis. And while this is going to be a great pickoff, I'm a little bit worried about the direct army fight. If Tiger Boss refuses to make heroes, uh, he's going to get swept here. So Aurora Borealis is already half finished. Uh, Rappel would do well to, to heal up his Valks. But yeah, he's about to lose all these villagers. There's no escape. Absolute massacre. Four might be able to get up to heroic though. It's just we don't have no wood now. I like the walling attempt. Should allow this army to hide. And I also like the counter raid. Is this infantry army big enough? 17 throwing axe. Okay, that should do the trick. Okay, we got three terma heroes. I like would have liked some Mermillo heroes too. It's gonna be Scotty, funnily enough, not not Braggy. Trying to find a little bit of raiding space, but not gonna happen. Oh, the Catapalti smacking the raiding calf hard. The giant maces. Ooh, the pickoff on the Valkyrie, that was so hot. Just getting getting real close there. Block the pathing for a second to slow them down. So good. Also, we don't have thundering hooves actually. So these Valkyries are slow right now. 
any amount of slowing down will make them uh, get hit by the Terma. Oh, another set of villagers getting raided there. Oh, Doskadi is in. That might be a little bit too much of a loss for Rappel. He's trying to go Mythic so badly. I mean, are we even gonna see Heroic by, by Tiger Boss in time for Ragnarok? This entire army is now frozen. And a lot of them will be picked off. The throwing axemen have a very fast attack speed, which is actually pretty decent here. Uh, more so than the raiding calf. You have a lot of dead units. Especially with the addition of a frost giant. That is not fightable anymore. Yeah, Rappel should easily be able to go to the next H here. It's still hunting, by the way. Very little farming going on. Um, yeah, he is going to click up Bother. And gather what resources he can in the time remaining. They'll be able to remake a bunch of dwarves. Or just make fire giants for the complete all-in. Getting the mail upgrade, of course. And saving his units. Would love him to heal up the Valkyries. And the raiding cap that are still remaining. Uh, don't need to risk them. Yeah, that's gonna be quite a bit of gold for our four player. Uh, that's at least two fire giants so far. Might be going up to enough for free. I don't see how the Terma are going to be able to survive against the Ragnarok heroes, but there's only going to be 40 of them, so maybe it's a little bit doable, but these constant Terma being made, I don't know. Why do you think is he avoiding you? Obviously he's going Ragnarok. I'm not going to have Masons or anything. Armory is coming in and we're still producing mass Terma. This is going to be horrible. Um, yeah. But if Atlanteans do manage to survive, I mean, just surround your bases with... <clears throat> with buildings, excuse me. Not sure it will help. I mean, you really need palaces to hold this, and you really need fanatics in the Mythic Age. We're so far from that. Uh, it's a pretty much complete all in the space for free fire giants, or a remade dwarf economy. Oh god, yeah, we're gonna suicide. Okay, uh, yeah, the Fire Giants is tearing everything up. 188 population for our Norse player. Diving in. I would have liked for Rappo to, to group up a little better, but yeah, these Terma are actually... You know, detracting a relevant amount of rack heroes there. But they're also gonna get picked off real hard, so... This is definitely enough stuff to take down the TC. We're still making Terma for whatever reason. I'm gonna get angry. 160 population left for our nose player. Of course, the Atlanteans are doing their absolute best to... To pick off what they can here. But... Is it going to be enough? 140 population to 100 and dropping. Towers are doing work, of course, but very slowly. Citizens are retreating. As long as some survive, it should be okay, but there is so much Norse left. Oh my goodness. More and more Terma are being made. Still! Still Terma! <laughs> Uh, the citizens are gonna have to fight now. There's absolutely no chance for Tiger Boss to survive now. He, his village is gonna get hunted down. Four should restart the dwarf economy just in case. But yeah, this looks like an absolute victory to me. Last citizens are going to be hunted down. There's eight left total. 
and they're they've been found by the ox guard. There's a bunch on the wood line. I just don't see Atlantis being able to make an army big enough to take on 113 population of Norse. It's never gonna happen. Not a single wall has been made to stop this. Nothing. And yeah, Terma. Absolute worst possible unit. Let's ban that. Oh. Yeah, dwarf production has restarted. Apple made entirely two door, three dwarfs is all he's gonna have. <laughs> A restarting civilization. Alright. Tiger Boss is gonna be out of the tournament. Rapple very deservedly takes it. That was that was really good baiting for the for the continued fights and obviously Ragnarok just finished everything off. Pretty good job surviving as well when it seemed unlikely. But yeah, he's been ahead in the economy the whole game, so understandable. GG. We want to thank our MetaPlace website subscribers. Your contribution helps us keep hosting events. As we reach higher subscription goals, we can increase the price pools of the events we host. Check out our subscription page using the link in the description. And remember to collect your perks. We will see you the next time.